getting started part two, more accordance features. It's helpful to organize some of your library folders. You may have Bible translations that you won't use. Right click on one of them and choose add folder. Name the folder and I've named mine Z, books I don't use, and drag the ones that you won't use into this folder. Arrange folders or books by right clicking and choose alphabetizing or drag your favorites to the top. You can remove an item entirely by right clicking and choosing remove item and then move to trash. The live click feature is located near the top of the Bible window. I'll click once on a verse reference to open a group of Bibles to compare in a user group. To make one, go to the library and select one of the Bibles that you want to be a part of this group, and then select Add to User Group, and then name the group, and you'll see it down at the bottom of your library under My Stuff, under My Groups. Once you name the group, then you can go back to your library and select the other Bibles that you want to be part of this group. Add to user group and then you'll see the name of your group there. Now let's go back over to our Bible window and make sure live click is checked and when it is the gear will show. And click on the gear and then we want to check mark verse lookup, text browser tab, use custom group, and select your group there. You may also want to check lexicon lookup and word usage and then click on the OK. Now when you click on a word in your Bible the lexicons will open. The research tool provides a great way to study a topic. Select the folder or user group that you want to search. I'll select all tools and make sure you've got your language selected there as well. All tools are all the resources in my library except Bible texts. Now I'll type in Enoch and press enter. A new zone opens with my research results. I'm going to click on the gear and make sure I have show full text selected. I can also set that in the preferences. Maximize the zone and then click on the title to see the information. You can copy the information by selecting it, right click, copy as, citation. Accordance will automatically generate a footnote for you. When you see hyperlinked information, you can use the option click on Mac or the alt click on Windows to have a pop-up that you can easily copy by using the clipboard in the corner of this instant details pop-up. We can find the different grammatical forms of a word by using the flex search. I'm going to type in the word mercy using the words button or the exact form of the word. But if I change the field to flex, I'll get the word mercy. And in this instance, I'll also get the word mercies. If I want to find the phrase tender mercy or tender mercies, I can type in tender mercy and press enter and I'll find both tender mercies and tender mercy. There's no need to use quotation marks to find the phrase. Now I'll go to add parallel and add the GNTT. Notice the GNTT cross highlights with the English Bible or any other tagged Bible. When I triple click on a word, the Mounts Dictionary will open. Hear the pronunciation of a word by clicking on the speaker. Genesis. If you want to save a workspace that you've set up, open the resources you want and set it up the way you want the workspace to reopen or save. I'll triple click here to open the default commentary and I'll add the interlinear as well as my notebook and I'll close out the GNT.
Next, go to File, Save As, and name the workspace as a .accord file. The workspace will reopen to the last saved instance and reopen it under File, Open Workspace. Use the web browser tool to access a website in a zone in accordance. Short interactive help tutorials are available beneath the help menu. Thank you for watching our video. Please contact our support team if you have questions.